Ms. Eshoo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for having, uh, holding these series of hearings and to all of the uh, witnesses. I respect and admire the work that, uh, uh, that you've done and your testimony here today. Um, there are great passions around uh, single payer. Uh, I know that uh, from, um, uh, from some people in my own district, uh, of, you know, others in California, and certainly people uh, across the country. Um, let me ask you about something that I think is important uh, to the American people. In fact, I think they kind of have it in their DNA. Nobody likes, no American I don't think really likes like a, like a one-size-fits-all. Um, they, they really like to have choice. Um, so um, I know that, you know, I mean, single payer doesn't provide that. But I'm asking you very sincerely, um, do you do you believe that this would? Um, uh, do you think that that single payer could in any way preserve choice for patients? Yeah. Okay, because uh, as I understand, single payer is just it's the one system uh, that is paid by one outfit, the federal government, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, from the patient's point, and of we learned view, a lot yeah. from, and I was here. Yeah. I was here for the uh, health care debate 93-94. And if there was anything that I heard from my constituents was uh, don't force me into, um, into a plan. Uh, if I have what I have and I like what I have, that's what I want to stay with. Well, the, the choice that patients care about is that they're able to choose any doctor or hospital they want. And of course, that kind of choice is enhanced and expanded in single payer. In single payer system, you go to any doctor, you go to any hospital. Mm -hmm. So that's the choice patients care about. Once they know the bill's going to get paid, they don't care about who the insurance person is. They care about the doctor uh, and the hospital. From the doctor's point of view, the choice we want is to be able to do what's best for our patients and not have to ask permission from some private insurance bureaucrat or be told we can only refer patient X to Dr. Y because of restrictions. So choice is actually bigger. The important choice, so the, which what is choice we're of proposing, doctor and What bigger. the Democrats are proposing yeah. in, the, uh, in the bill uh, does preserve some choice that matches somewhat what you just described, and that is uh, that, uh, uh, that they have a choice of doctors, they have a choice of hospitals. Um, but that's no, actually generally not a characteristic of private HMO coverage in this country. You private insurance well, coverage frequently. Well, as it stands frequently. today, yeah. but I, I, think that, I think that we have to ramp up what we're talking about because we're comparing and contrasting new ideas. We know what's broken. I mean, we don't need panels of people and all kinds of hearings to reiterate uh, what's broken. We're, we're looking at how to fix this thing. So, um, you know, again, I mean, I, I admire your work. I, I really think that if we were starting from scratch, from total scratch in the country, it's probably what you all described today is what would be built. But we're not starting from scratch. And that's why I think a public option uh, is so important.